In a lot of cases, boas and pythons can look and act very similarly. But in all honesty, these two snakes are actually from two completely different families. In this video, we're gonna cover what's the main differences between boas and pythons. My name is Pierce LaValle, this is Pierce's Planet, stick around. and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing amazing. This video today is going to be all about boas and pythons. And really we're gonna be talking about what the main differences between these two snakes are. But before we talk about the main differences between these two snakes, I feel like we need to talk about the similarities that these two snakes have. So let's just jump right into it. One of the main similarities between these two snakes is that both of these families boast the largest snakes in the world. Now on average, pythons tend to get larger than boas do, meaning that pythons have more species of large snakes than boas do, but boas still have some very, very, very large snakes. The most famous large boa is the anaconda. Now the anaconda is the heaviest snake in the world. We're talking about a snake that can get up to 400 pounds. And yes, anacondas are boas. Anacondas are also called water boas because they spend the majority of their time in the water to help support that heavy body that they have. But contrary to popular belief, anacondas are not the longest snakes in the world. That title actually belongs to a python, and that python is the reticulated python. Reticulated pythons can grow up to 33 feet long. Yes, you heard me right, a 33 foot snake. Now, that is definitely not common, but they can grow up to that size, so just a massive snake. Now, they don't get as thick and as heavy as anacondas do, but they still get pretty damn big. And so talking about reticulated pythons and anacondas, that's not even beginning to start with all the other python and boa species that get humongous, such as Burmese pythons, scrub pythons, boa constrictors, yellow anacondas, just an endless variety of snakes that get huge. Along with some of the largest snakes in the world, boas and pythons also have some very small species of snakes. With boas, they have rosy boas and rubber boas and sand boas. And with pythons, they have things like spotted pythons and children's pythons and all of the Antaresia. Another similarity between these two families of snakes is that they are all ambush predators and constrictors, which means they lie in wait for their prey to walk by and strike them super fast and then wrap them up with their bodies and squeeze them and suffocate them to death. So if you're a rat or a small mammal or a bird, boas and pythons are like your worst nightmare. I mean, that is just not a fun way to go. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Another similarity between these two snakes is that they still have legs. I am shooketh. I am not playing a prank on you. Now they may not be the same type of legs that you and I might think of, but they do have these tiny spurs near the backside of their bodies, kind of near their tail. And those spurs are the remnants of the legs that their ancestors used to have. As Clint's Reptiles likes to point out, sometimes you may even get a little scratch or a little poke by one of these feet. Now they obviously aren't useful at all, pretty useless, but still a kind of a cool fact to learn about boas and pythons. Another similarity between these two types of snakes, and one that I didn't even know of until I you know, did some research on it before this video, and that is that boas and pythons both have two lungs. Now I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know how many lungs snakes had, but the majority of snakes have only one lung. But because boas and pythons are so primitive, they still have two lungs, which is pretty awesome. 
And so for the most part, those are kind of some of the main similarities between these two families. But now let's start to get into the differences. And the first and probably the, the, the main difference between these two types of snakes is the way they give birth. Pythons, like most reptiles, are oviparous, which means that they lay eggs and then their young hatch out of those eggs. Boas, on the other hand, give birth to live young. And in mammals, that's called being viviparous but I don't know if that's necessarily the case in boas because boas don't actually give birth to live young like in a placenta like mammals do they actually have eggs but they're just inside of their body and then the babies come out of those eggs and are born so not really sure if you'd call that viviparous or not so if you were to own a snake and you didn't know what it was which i don't recommend at all never get an animal if you don't know what it is but let's just say in a fantasy world that you did then one way you'd be able to tell if it was a python or a boa was if it laid eggs or if it gave birth to live young and i know this is a video about boas and pythons but boas aren't the only types of snakes that give birth to live young. Rattlesnakes and other viper species also give birth to live young. So it's actually more common than what you might think. Another difference between these two families of snakes, and one again that I didn't know before until I did my research, is that boas actually have a, one less bone in their head than pythons do. Pretty neat, I don't really have anything extra to say about that, Just. That's kind of a cool fact to know. Pythons have a pair of upper jaw bones that are called the 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 premaxilla, premaxia. I, honestly, guys, I'm horrible with names. Premaxilla. The premaxilla. So pythons have these upper jaw bones that are called the premaxilla that give them some extra teeth. Boas do not have that. And another difference, and I did kind of bring it up when I was talking about their similarities, is that on average, pythons tend to get bigger than boas do. Now, these are both huge snakes, like I already mentioned, but if you go down the line, the, py the family of pythons has more large snakes than the, than the boa family does, if that makes any sense. And the last difference between these two snakes is the location of where you can find them. Now, this one is a little bit trickier than everything else that I mentioned because pythons are strictly old world snakes. And old world snakes live in Australia, Africa, Asia, and although I don't think there are any pythons in Europe, there might, are there pythons in Europe? Well, Europe is considered old world too. So everything in the Eastern hemisphere is considered an old world snake. Whereas boas tend to live more in the Western hemisphere in North and South America. But there are boas in the old world. You can find some boas in Africa Legolas here, the boa that I have right here is actually a Dumeril's boa, and this is a boa from Madagascar. But for the most part, the majority of boa species are found in North and South America, with a few exceptions in Africa and Madagascar and a couple other places. Now, I know some people might be watching this video and say, well, there are pythons in the New World. Just look at Florida. Yes, Florida has pythons. They have a wild population of Burmese pythons that probably will never get under control, but they aren't native to that area. So I don't really consider them to be a New World species. There actually is one species of python that isn't really a python, but it's really closely related to pythons and it actually has the name python in its name, so it kind of would be considered a python. I don't know. There is one python-ish species of snake that lives in the New World and that is the Mexican burrowing python. I honestly don't know enough about it to tell you definitive, definitively what it is. I think it's in its own category, like in its own family, but it's just really, really, really closely related to pythons. But I could be completely wrong about that. I honestly don't know. But I do know there is the Mexican burrowing python that isn't really a python, but is a python, but 
it's just confusing scientists I'll leave that to scientists. And so that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope this video was helpful and I hope I was able to explain the similarities and the differences between pythons and boas to you guys fairly well. Because of Hollywood movies and folk tales, they get a bad reputation. And so I'm hoping that videos like this kind of break down those stereotypes and kind of shed some light on the truth behind these beautiful and secretive animals. And you know, out of all the similarities and the differences that I mentioned in this video, there's one that I actually didn't mention that is the most important of them all. And that is that both of these snakes are being threatened by habitat destruction. We need to do a better job at protecting our wildlife, protecting our habitats, and making this world a better place. And that's what I'm hoping to accomplish with these videos is to shed some light on on some of these things so I just had to put that in there I don't want to end this video on like a doom and gloom you know no it had to be said these these beautiful animals are being threatened every single day with habitat loss and we really 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 need to do something about it so with that being said in my description I'm going to put some links to some organizations that I think do a great job with conservation and I think you guys should check them out let me know down in the comments if there's any similarities or differences that I left out that you guys thought I should have put in this video. And also, which type of snake do you like more? Are you more of a boa person or are you more of a python person? Let me know that as well down in the comments. I just want to say thank you guys again for all the love and support that you guys have shown this channel. It's really been growing a lot lately and, and it's all because of you guys. So shout out to you. Shout out to everybody who watches these videos. Thank you so much. You're the reason why I have motivation to make videos like this. With that being said, until next time everybody, my name is Pierce LaValley, that is Penny, that is Legolas, we are in Pierce's planet, and remember, it's all about the reps, baby. Peace. like a lot of reptiles are I... oviparous well god damn it what was I gonna say about it I was gonna say something I was gonna say something what was I gonna say Yes.